Hello, it is Eric Polly at erpolly.com. I got a new microphone and I'm ready to go. We got a request this uh, tutorial. Can we make a 3D canvas in Blender similar to the uh, framed pictures that I had in the tutorial earlier? Yes, we can. And I am sorry that I am answering this two months late. But let's go down to this and make it happen, huh? Shoobly doobly. We got Blender open and we have a cube sitting here. Um, I suggest downloading an image from the interweb if you a uh, royalty free image from a royalty free image website and save yourself from any of that copyright hullabaloo. I'm going to use this image here. That'll work just fine. Now, for this here, I'm going to go ahead in this new Blender file. I'm going to select camera and I'm going to select the light and hit the delete key. Now, with the cube left on the screen, I will select it, hit tab, hit A to make sure that all of it is selected. Let's hit S and Y to size it on the Y scale. Now, I'm going to go a little extra small. That way, I can go S and size up the whole thing and have a little bit more to work with. Now, if you would like a canvas that is a different shape, you can hit S and X go along this axis to make it long and skinny this way or S and Z long and skinny this way. This works great for putting multiple canvas items next to each other, perhaps UV unwrapping the uh, front image and uh, spreading them along all canvases like most canvas art is done. For this particular uh, sample, I will just be using this canvas style right here as a square, nice perfect square. I'm gonna hit three on the keyboard to select faces you can select that up here as well i like hitting one two and three on the keyboard make it nice and quick with three hit on the keyboard i will select this front face if you're not sure if it's the front you can hit one on the number pad and take you directly to the front of the face now i am looking at this canvas here and i want to hit Control b and bevel it that's a hard bevel so let's scroll up on the mouse wheel Quite a few times about like that i'm going to click to submit my selection i'm going to hit control and plus on the number pad and that will select one additional face outward according to the faces i have selected now with the proper selection here i will create an additional material in the material panel here plus and now, in order to assign these faces to that material, I will assign it here. You can see that's happening if you change the color on one of these. That's why I have the assigned uh, default color as blue. So when I look at it, I can see I have two different materials on my object. Now, I've created this material here. It has nothing inside of it. I need to create a new one here. That's great. Perfect. Now, if you were making a white canvas, you can hit tab, get out of the edit mode. You are in object mode, right click, shift, and we are shading smooth, which will, which will shade everything smooth. All the edges are now smooth. And your white canvas is done. If you are not trying to make a white canvas, let's go into the shading workspace. Here is the material you have. If you are in the wrong material, you can go down here, and whatever material you have selected is the material that you are working on here in your shirt shading workspace. All right. Now, there's two ways to go about importing your image. You can either shift A in this area in search, go to image, boom. And then you can open here and find your image. Now that for this particular tutorial, I have the image in my download folder and I know exactly where it's at so it's easier for me to just drag and drop it right into Blender. Now that image is ready to go I just have to plug it in and that is a monstrosity right? That's not exactly what we want but we got the right idea. The canvas is a canvas. Now let's go into the UV editing workspace. 
Now you can see what's kind of going on here. These faces are doing their job, but I want to take these faces, UV unwrap them. Now it's more of a square. I select all in this uh, panel, and I'm going to grab it on the Y. Oh, grab it on the X. So G X, like this. So I want the the cookie to go on the whole canvas. So I'm going to hit S and X, and I'm going to size it just at the right side. I don't want any cookie to be showing on the outside of the canvas like that. That would look a little. So now with that, I can scroll this by grabbing it with the middle mouse click. I'm going to look at the viewport shading to make sure everything is where I would like it to be. Hit tab to go into the object mode, and let's see what it really looks like. That looks pretty good. Uh, blue canvas on the back, that's kind of weird. I think a brown would be more fitting. Pretty standard, pretty standard. Uh, if you want to go the extra mile, they often will have an inset right here. So if you hit tab to go into edit mode and you select this face, I'm going to hit I and inset like so. Okay. And this can you can grab with the G and the Y and bring it in just a bit. Then you could put a hook right here if you would like. However, unless your image is going to fall off of the wall, it will not be seen, right? That is your beautiful canvas ready to hang on the wall inside your amazing 3D model. I have been Eric Pauly. You have been you. Keep creating amazing things. And don't forget to stop by erpauly.com. That's my website. <laughs> I'm just I'm laughing. Why is it? <laughs>